discuss an important topic which is related to technical analysis of financial markets. And the name of the topic is trend trading versus counter trend trading. A trend is an important element of technical analysis and it represents the key feature of the market structure. We know that the market tends to move in trends. Uh, this is how it is uh, happening with any kind of price movement. And a trend consists not only of the impulses which are in the direction of this trend, but it also contains uh, the so-called corrections or in other words, retracements or sometimes pullbacks is the name which is used by traders and analysts. These corrections represent the movements which um, are against the main trend. They are smaller in size than the impulse movements, but still they are necessary uh, because uh, we see that the price never moves um, in a straight line with some degree. It uh, has this period um, of going up and going down um, in any kind of trend, in uptrend and in downtrend as well. These uh, corrections have uh, an explanation because we know that the price chart is a result of actions of all the traders which act at this market. Uh, if uh, there are more buyers than sellers, then we get an uptrend. If we, we are, have uh, more sellers than buyers, we have a downtrend. Uh, and if it is an uptrend, there are situations when those who are buying, they uh, take profit on their long positions. And um, this usually happens when the price reaches some significant levels or maybe some events happen. And as a result, this profit taking um, may, means that uh, buyers close their positions. And as a result, we see that the market makes the pull back to the downside. So uh, this is why corrections happen in an uptrend. And in the downtrend, we have similar situation. The only difference is that the sellers are dominating at the market. And uh, well, uh, imagine the situation that you have identified a trend. And um, at this point, you need to um, choose how to act. You need to choose your strategy. And um, well, it is, of course, clear that if the price is going to the upside, you can buy. However, you can see that um, the price may not go to the upside straight away. And um, in reality, it is possible to trade corrections as well as impulses. And um, traders who have experience know that it is kind of important to make sure that your market entry is precise because otherwise uh, you will have drawdowns which uh, may be critical for your deposit. So uh, still, even if you have an idea where a trend will be going, it is very important to determine the correct entry point and the action, which movement of the market you will pursue. And it goes as kind of without saying, among traders that um, trend trading seems to be the less risky and um, more more potentially more beneficial strategy because we can see that um, impulses in an uptrend or in a downtrend tend to be longer than corrections um, and um, as the saying goes, a trend is your friend. Uh, you should buy low and say, sell high. Um, however, we are not always in the great position to um, enter the impulse. And sometimes when we open a price chart, we see that the uptrend has already reached a high and uh, we see the signs that a correction is coming. 
And a question is, uh, why should I wait for a good entry point uh, to this uh, bullish market? Well, I can uh, just spend time trading on the correction. And uh, well, um, today we will discuss what are the specific features of trend trading and we will discuss the features of trading counter trend trading on corrections and we will try to make uh, conclusions uh, about which approach is better whether it is possible to combine these two techniques and uh, well uh, in the broad sense what can we do with all of this so uh, trend trading Imagine we have an uptrend here and uh, we will analyze the situation on the example of an uptrend. So um, in an uptrend, of course, our interest is to enter the market at the lowest possible price for our gains uh, to be bigger as the price goes to the upside. And uh, if we see that a trend exists, an uptrend, which by the way uh, means that we see the sequence of uh, higher lows and higher highs on the chart. So we have identified this kind of formation and um, we pick the spot where to uh, buy, uh, where to open a buy order. And here we have actually a range of different choices and uh, it is not possible to say that one choice is wrong, one choice is right. They are simply different on the basis of how aggressive you are and um, how um, tolerant are you to the risk. So uh, take a look at the picture. Uh, we have point one, the uh, point where the market, um, the price, corrects from high to the support line. And um, point one is the first potential entry point to join the uptrend uh, because uh, the rebound from support, well, um, is a confirmation of an uptrend and, uh, well, a place to, uh, a place to buy because we know that support and resistance levels uh, by definition mean that the possibility that these levels will hold the price from further movement is greater than uh, the possibility that the price will break beyond this level. So in the point one, the possibility that um, the price will turn higher is greater than the possibility that the price will get down. So we decide to take the market up on that and enter with a buy trade in point one. This is the first um, option. The second option, um, as we see that uh, the correction was in the form of a triangle, sometimes um, corrections may be in the forms of flags, uh, for example, or some other uh, patterns. Uh, we see that actually, um, there is the short-term downtrend resistance line, which um, acts as um, the limit um, on the upside. So um, when the price breaks above this short-term resistance line and uh, gets to the point two, it is um, another confirmation that the market is in an uptrend and this uptrend is eager to continue. So some traders may join the market in the point two and the fact that they waited for confirmations that this is indeed an uptrend means that these traders are less aggressive and of course, as they enter at a higher price, they have missed uh, some pips of profit, yet uh, they enter the market with greater confidence. So we can't have great confidence and great profit at the same time. It is always a kind of balance of different risks we encounter here. Finally, uh, the continuation of the uptrend means that um, after a correction, the price will uh, return to the previous high. 
there was a previous high, definitely. And um, the moment uh, when the price chart crosses this previous high to the upside, the point number three is um, another point where yeah, bullish traders can open their positions. It is yet another confirmation that the market has uh, bullish momentum, that uh, bulls are in control and that they will continue pushing the price higher. This point is yet higher and um, it suggests that uh, a trader has missed more pips of profit. However, uh, break to new highs, well, um, it kind of suggests that uh, further movement is uh, likely. Of course, here we will need more information about this trend. We would need to know uh, what is the strength of a trend and um, to uh, estimate that we may use a technical indicator, for example, ADX, which measures the strength of a trend. We can also look at the previous price action uh, because um, somewhere, uh, somewhere, I don't know if I can draw here. Okay, somewhere um, to the left of the chart where we do not uh, see price action at this picture, there may be important highs and lows which act as support or resistance. And if there is no substantial resistance, uh, well, uh, this is the hint that the market can go uh, further up after getting past the point three. So uh, some various uh, factors get in line here, but the point three is still um, an option for traders for market entry if we do trend trading. These are actually quite important moments uh, because uh, sometimes traders have an idea that they should buy in an uptrend and sell in the downtrend trend but uh, they do not understand the logic of price action. And this uh, logic actually consists primarily of the analysis of um, previous highs and lows and uh, the analysis of trend lines. Of course, you can add technical indicators to the picture and use some uh, systems which involve um, some number of technical indicators which will allow you to filter out signals. But um, if even if we look at just price action, here is the basic concept of trend trading. As a for counter trend trading, we have already understood that it is an attempt to um, enter the market when the movement is um, versus the main trend because we do not want to uh, buy at highs as it is natural that we expect a correction. Um, sometimes the signs of correction are really, really evident. So um, a trader thinks that, well, indeed, um, it is necessary to use this opportunity. So um, um, the key here is that we look for the signs of an interim top uh, in an uptrend, the sign that the uh, market is not going to continue in that direction. Um, there are a lot of different tools which may help us do that. Here um, on the chart, the picture is a bit small, but uh, you can see that the high of the price is not confirmed by the high of the oscillator. So we have bearish divergence here. And it is um, often a very uh, reliable uh, sign of correction. So um, on the basis of that, it is possible to expect the price uh, to go down. And you can actually see that there were a couple of red candlesticks on the chart. 
However, notice that uh, the correction so far hasn't reached the uh, support line of the trend. And this is actually one of the main problems with counter trend trading, because um, when we bet against the market, we can't be uh, sure that the price will reach uh, the support line, the opposite border of the channel. Of course, we can never be certain in anything with the market, but if we speak in terms of probability, and this is what we should actually do when we um, do technical analysis, the probability that the price will reach the downside target, the opposite uh, border of the channel, in this case is lower than the probability that if we buy at support level during the uptrend, uh, the price will get to the resistance. Um, so we are kind of at a small disadvantage here. And uh, this should be taken into account, especially when you set your take profit levels. And uh, well, we can uh, see here in the table that there are different parameters um, which will help us compare trend trading and counter trend trading. So entry uh, is what we have already discussed right now. It's um, what we have uh, the entry in the direction of a trend for trend trading. It is um, natural and counter trend trading. We enter the market against the trend at the top bottom of a trend or after a strong impulse in the direction of a trend. And um, we know that often after the price rapidly goes up, uh, that correction to the downside follows because uh, the market players just close their bullish positions. They um, readjust in order to enter the market at the lower levels, probably. So a pullback happens. The tools we use when we uh, do trend trading are determined on um, finding the point at which a uh, correction will stop and the main trend will resume. Fibonacci levels, pivot points um, are the techniques of finding support and resistance levels, which um, can be very helpful in this case. Uh, various previous highs and lows are helpful um, trend lines, represent the key analytical tool for that. And trend indicators like um, moving averages, which also act as support and resistance levels, also can um, help you a great deal when you um, are uh, trying to accomplish this task. Also, if we think about trend trading, uh, we should um, especially underline uh, the possibility to have a look at multiple time frames, although this can be true for counter trend trading as well. And actually, um, triple screen trading system developed by Alexander Elder comes to mind here because he uh, tried to firstly determine the direction of a trend on a big time frame and then switched to smaller time frames in order to see the moment when correction against the trend finishes and it is possible to enter the market at the best place. So for trend traders, this kind of strategy is um, a really, really uh, important and um, interesting. As for the tools for counter trend trading, here we will be looking for reversal candlestick patterns after the market made um, its impulse move in line with the trend. We will also look for highs and lows, which provide support and resistance. We will look for we will have a look at the readings of oscillators like MACD and RSI, 
or stochastic oscillator. Any oscillator actually will be rather helpful. Uh, we'll be looking for um, overbought and oversold areas, although, of course, if the trend is really, really strong, you should be uh, kind of um, careful with these indicators and um, make sure that you get a confirmation. The best, of course, is price action. You can check for tops at some uh, lower time frames because there it is possible to see, uh, firstly, that the market is forming a top or bottom and then switch to the time frames you are trading. Um, divergences it is what give, gives us hints about the upcoming corrections as well. And Fibonacci tools can actually uh, help as well if we um, take Fibonacci uh, measurements not from the current trend and look for corrections to it, but uh, from some previous trend, if the trend we are trading is in itself a kind of uh, retracement to that bigger trend. As for tech profit levels, um, well, uh, in a trend, um, we either target the previous high if we manage to enter the market at support level, or if we see that the market got beyond that high, we um, see which targets lie in line with the channel of the price or uh, target some important levels which are provided by technical analysis on the upside. It is also great to use such technique called Fibonacci extension or expansion, which uh, gives um, the targets on the basis of the levels and uh, swing highs and lows, which were seen at the start of a trend. Uh, as for counter trend trading, here is the first natural uh, level to look at is either support of a trend if we are trading against the uptrend or resistance if we are um, trading um, against versus the downtrend. Um, however, notice that uh, much depends on the strength of uh, the trend, and if the trend is strong, then uh, probably uh, the situations may occur that you will target only the middle of the channel for a correction or some meaningful levels which are is close to the middle. Maybe um, you will use Bollinger Bands indicator where the middle line is so that you trade on the market's return to this middle line. Uh, this is another tool you can use in counter trend trading. Stop losses here, um, the situation is also quite different. Um, in trend trading, you can use trailing stops because um, the upside limit or the downside limit uh, of the market is kind of uncertain in case uh, you write a trend and this trend really develops for some time. So a trading stop which follows the price if the price goes in the direction of your trade is a good option to uh, limit your risks and allow you to lock in profit. At the same time, um, counter trend trading does not really mm, account for the using of trailing stop because the um, size of correction is not so big and uh, well, the natural place to place um, the stop loss or uh, stop loss order would be uh, beyond the extreme point uh, where the correction has started. Probably uh, it would be um, an opportunity to move uh, the stop loss to break even level as the price goes in your favor, but um, the trailing as such won't be um, really possible because, well, you need you will need more space for that, and correction is not that big usually. As
it is possible to um, scale in a trade or scale out of a trade. Um, but if um, a viable solution for trend trading, because um, at first when you enter a, tra a trend, especially if the trend is just at the beginning, and if you want to diminish your risks uh, while still using the opportunity to trade in this trend, you can enter uh, the position with a smaller size you usually uh, use. And as the price goes in your favor, you can add to a position by opening more trades in that direction. This is possible when we have a trend because, well, it um, assumes that the price will move and move and we see the purpose of such tactics. However, counter trend um, trading does not really suit that option. So for counter trend um, trading, if you decided to do that, it is better to uh, open position of the size you wish to open right away and without um, adding to the position in the future. So uh, you can see we uh, went through the main things which are related to trend trading, counter trend trading, and um, we can um, see that both approaches do have a specific logic to them. Um, if we compare and try to say which approach is better, um, I would say that uh, the logic of the market and uh, the momentum goes uh, more with trend trading. Um, trend traders still have a higher probability of success. However, I feel that in many cases there are enough reasons to uh, see a correction and if you see several signals of a correction, if you see the confirmation, then it is possible to, trend, to trade on the counter trend movement while uh, having some reasonable uh, take profit targets. All in all, of course, we can um, advise counter trend trading to traders who already have some experience. So um, for beginner traders, better to start acting in line with a trend, not to be in a hurry and wait for good entry points as those uh, we have discussed. And this is it. And um, at the end of the webinar, I'd like to remind you that you will be able to get access to more educational information from Tradimo if you sign up to um, the premium version of the service, which may be accessible accessed at um, the address learn.tradimo.com slash premium. There you will find personalized learning support and free learning experience, which will help you to become a better trader. In the meantime, I thank you for your attention and I'll be very glad to see you at my next webinars with trading off.